Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog once again. Today is now Friday. You know, saw the last vlog, guys. The link for it's in the description below. Anyway, guys, the reason why I'm starting off the vlog this morning really, really early. It's actually, what, I think it's like 20 to 7 in the morning. Um, this morning, I'm about to make an appearance on BBC Radio Ulster. That's right. Put it in social media last night. Um, a friend of mine who works for BBC, um, who I used to work in local, ra local radio with years ago, uh, was talking to me yesterday and has asked me to come on this morning to talk about the latest update in relation to, um, you know, the whole circumstances in relation to the pandemic. And also uh, just to talk about general life, obviously during the whole sort of like lockdown and stuff like that there. So I will be uh, going on the air here in about another half an hour or so. This is sitting and talk about it and stuff live on the air. So yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I will uh, share my, uh, my uh, me talking to you on the vlog this morning. So uh, I'm way here to get a coffee and get myself ready to get on to uh, the air here and talk to you. Uh, the lovely listeners of BBC Radio Ulster. So, Brooklyn Lewis are obviously in bed, still sleeping, snoring their heads off. <laughs> um, I'll show you some of the stuff that I said to you at the end of the last vlog, I was doing some DIY around the house and stuff like that there. I'll show you some of the stuff that I was doing when I bring it back to you later on today at some point, or after I do my interview and stuff. So, I'm way here, guys, to uh, get ready. And get ready to go on the air here. So hope you're all doing well there, guys. Keeping safe, keeping well. Um, there was a little bit of an announcement yesterday, which I will uh, talk to you about later on. So, yeah. <laughs> Just very, very tired this morning. So I had a lot of users come back to me on my social media last night saying they're going to be listening this morning. So thank you very much for that. So um, I will be sharing a link in the description for the interview, which is down below. In case you've missed it, but I'll also be playing it on here as well to let you hear it as well. So, right, I'm way here to get a coffee and get ready to go on the air. So, let's get this Friday's vlog started. Interesting vlog today on the radio live. Should be fun. I need to get myself woke up a bit more because I don't want to be sounding like all the, on the radio. So, should be fun. <laughs> let's get this Friday's vlog started, guys. Well, it's later on today, guys. Um, I'm going to try and get that clip from Radio Ulster to show you later on in the vlog today. Um, it actually went too bad. wasn't too bad. I was only on for like what a minute or two, just sort of talking about uh, the circumstances at the minute. Um, some of the uh, restrictions have been lifted, but I'm now heading out here at the minute. So I am. And look who's with me. Oh God! <laughs> Troublemaker with a capital T. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yes, I'm now heading over because guys, guess what? As of today, non-essential retail stores are allowed open. Yes, so we're now heading over here, just across the street here to the shopping centre to see what's open because there's a couple of things in JD Sports I want to get for myself and I want to obviously get the kids something because Brooke needs new tracksuit bottoms and Lewis needs new trainers and oh, Sandra needs a new brain for being with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, she was telling me there she's loving this new goatee beard. She says it makes me, it makes me look, was it very... Uh, Mature. Manly. Manly. <laughs> Sorry, say it right. Manly. Manly. Uh, big deep husky voice. But yes, we're going over here for half an hour just to sort of see what's open and see what's about and stuff. Uh, I got new fence paint yesterday, guys. Um, but I was supposed to paint the fence today, but as you can see, it's been raining, so we can't do that now. So because the decking's supposed to be coming tomorrow, but it's going to be raining too. I want to get across from here. Thank you. So I want to get as much as I can over here. So. All the sensor stores, non essential stores are ready to be open today, which is great. So, here we go. Well, it's safe to say you know the shops are reopened again. Look at the car park, it's completely bunged. Let's get inside here and see what it's like. Well, it's not as busy as what I thought. And some of the stores are still closed. JD Sports is closed, I'm raging. Sports shops closed, I'm raging. You go and get your eye test on. And you're going blind. <laughs> I'm slightly disappointed, are you not? That some of these shops are open. Is that the queue for Tesco? No. God, I need to get a Tesco train over the queue. Oh my god. Well, suppose it is. And then the weekend. A lot of shops in Belfast were going to use it. We'll finally get in. And Sam just found something really interesting here. Show us up close. No, no, no. Turn around. Put it. 
What does it say? Poultry with a fork? No, I don't. Poultry? I don't like the idea. What the hell is that? This is really out of the this like someone take. He wants to go back up there again. Did he ever finally get in? And uh, the queue wasn't too bad. It was long, but we got in pretty quick, so. Here, where's some of the things that Lewis likes? Alright, Lewis, ah, oh, here. We're gonna Lewis, if you're watching. Look at your dad's phone. You know, they drink the hot oh, yeah. chocolates. There's the bar chocolate. What have you found? That looks like a biscuit with you know, raisins and nuts. Cool. Okay. Here, here's a Kretzky bar. 30p, should we try one? I got a wafer. Yeah. Let's try one. I've officially seen it all nice. I'm just bought it. This an all day breakfast in a tin. Look at this. Baked mm. beans, sausages. What does it say? Mushrooms, Not. pork, and egg nugget. What? Nuggets and bacon? Egg nuggets. Oh my God. Nice. Matthew Moore from Bangers also on the line. And, and, and for you, what, what is important about this day for you? Well, oh, honestly, I just can't wait for that day to come around as well. Just as you just touched on there. Um, well, well, it's been such a very close family, um, especially mum and dad. Just, I mean, myself being a single parent of two, you know, we're all very a small, knitted family. I mean, this whole restriction at the moment, it's very, very difficult. Of course, the difficulty for a lot of people, and, and it might not affect you, Matthew, but it, it is clear at the moment that it, this is only for people who are, who are single. So you have to be either from single yourself or going to visit somebody who's, uh, who's in a single household. It, this is going to remain quite a tough for a lot of families, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean... Yeah, and... and, and Sorry, Sorry, no, it's okay. No, you just dropped out there, Matthew. Yeah, it, it is going to be an impact for a lot of families still, they're still waiting for that moment. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've been counting down the days, basically, for myself and my children. You know, seeing my, my parents from a distance is quite difficult. You know, I also have a brother as well. He well, lives on his own, being single too, and, you know, can't even see him. And, you know, this, this, this whole, I mean, must be counting down the days every single day, you know, that, that is lifted. And just as uh, the other caller just said there about the video camera stuff and all, too, we'll be really happy to see him, you know, capturing that moment where we can actually hug our, our, our parents again. And, you know, just, it's going to be one of those moments you'll, you'll, you'll never forget. As you mentioned, your brother, though, he, he does live by himself, which means you can have him over. What are you yeah. most looking forward to doing with him? Where we're set to start, you know, because we're, we're very, very close again. You know, we do a lot of things together since we were children right up until now, you know, and, and seeing him at the moment, the way he is as well. I mean, he, he also has a daughter who he can't see at the moment because she lives in another household with uh, other circumstances. So, again, that'll be a big confidence booster for him as well because, again, he's struggling with his, obviously, mental health being on his own all the time and can't do different things that he can't see different people. And this is going to be a big, big, big boost. Even when I spoke to him yesterday, by telephone, I said to him, and he was just like, he thought he was a little child at Christmas. You know, he was so happy to hear that he could actually come and, you know, spend overnight or come and actually enjoy our home again, which is great. Well, guys, it's later on in the day. I'm actually upstairs here now after spending the whole afternoon um, sorting out my bedroom, moving it around, changing everything again. <laughs> Moved everything around again. Um, I've got a bit of bad news for tomorrow, guys. The guy who was supposed to fit my decking arrived at my door tonight and he told me that he can't do the decking tomorrow because the stuff that was delivered, there's actually stuff missing from it. Some of the, the rails and poles and stuff like that there. So he can't do it tomorrow, which is a kind of a nightmare. Um, but he is going to come in the next few days and get it done. So um, that gives me an opportunity then to go out the back and paint the fence. So I just wanted to get the fence all painted, but now it's a good thing. But good news as well, guys. I was talking to him about my uh, outhouse thing. I wanted to get built out the back as well. And, you know, the people were telling me before I had to wait so many weeks to get it done. This guy here said he can actually build them himself and possibly get it built within the next three, four weeks. So this could be coming sooner than actually what I imagined. So I'll be talking to him again over the next few days. He's a really, really, really decent guy and he does good work. He's doing work for my neighbor across the road as well. So, um, but it was good of him to call up tonight to, to, to sort of inform me instead of ringing me tomorrow at the last minute and saying here I can't turn up so um, but no it, it's the, the weather for tomorrow is to be really heavy rain as well guys so not good but anyway I'm going to go now guys for today thank you for watching hope you enjoyed that vlog, our vlog today uh, I was out doing a bit of <laughs> shopping well, but the fault most of the shops were open they were in Belfast but they weren't here which is a nightmare um, we ended up um, going over to the shopping centre and there was hardly anything open. Now apparently they're all they all will be reopened by by Monday. 
Um, one other thing I did do today as well, guys, a lot of you were asking me my view on the PlayStation 5 announcement yesterday. Um, I went into Smith's today and I put my name down for the pre-order list. So once the pre-orders are being taken, Smith's are going to contact me. So the pay PlayStation 5, which will be around about November time, um, I'll be getting that ordered up soon as well. So I'll start putting pennies away for that too as well. Um, so I really want to get that there. Xbox, new, new Xbox, I'm not really interested in that to be quite honest. But um, it's been a long day today since I last spoke to you on the camera, guys. But I've been quite productive around the house. I didn't get a chance to get any more vlogging done. So I do apologize for that. By the way, I want to go for today now. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, I had a good laugh with Sandra earlier on with her, with her, so it was good fun. Um, but yes, I'm going to go now, guys, and get the next few vlogs put up. So I haven't put vlogs up for a couple of days, and I need to get them all. Two of them are all processed and edited. I just need to get them uploaded, and then get yesterday's and today's done. So the last one, sorry, and then today. So the joys. Sandra, before I go again, Sandra says she loves this beard. Look how grey I'm going now, guys. It's crazy. So it is the joys. Anyway, if you enjoyed this vlog today, drop a like on it. Also hit subscribe below. And until tomorrow, I will see you all back here at some point for another vlog. Thanks for watching.